I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Yeah, this song is um I mean it's like a fun song, right? It's probably like, you know, it's 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 less less concerned with some of the topics on the album about just like the world falling apart and stuff. Although there are a few moments about that kind of where it's just like, am I killing it? No, but am I growing up and learning shit? Also, no. It's a combination. It's like I'm a mess because I'm so drunk and I'm at a party, but then there's also these moments of just like, oh, like my whole life is also a mess. I definitely felt that way when I was writing this, and I think like, you know, it just speaks to the broader issues of the album of just kind of like generationally, like when are any of us going to get our lives together and, you know, just stop feeling like everything's just chaotic and a mess and as a musician it may that may never happen for me but you know we'll see let's see i rewrote the verse melody on this a few times and i read i took i had a second verse for a while and then i took it out and got lancy on it i met lancy through 070 shake who's someone i work with a lot and who's also on the album he's great i mean his voice is awesome i love his just like fashion too obviously he's just like super inspiring if you're familiar with him uh he's incredible yeah, the production, I think, like, is sort of focused on a couple different elements. There's these big, like, orchestral uh, swelling flourish that keeps coming back. And I really like the idea of this thing just, like, dominating the track and then kind of going away and then coming back and just sort of, like, it just feels like the whole world is at sea, which is how the song is sort of, you know, it's about just being kind of fucked up, basically. Yeah, and then there's sort of the verses, which are more rhythmic and have this cello part, which I added much later, which is sort of, like, low cello stabs, like, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And then there's some bass clarinets, there's these flute trills, and it's got all this music stuff. I write all those parts by myself on sheet music. I hire musicians and record them, um, and that's how I get that sound. I mean, you really can't do it, I don't think, with just MIDI instruments or, you know, synthesizer instruments. Yeah, so there's been a lot of different versions of this. The orchestration became a bigger and bigger part of it as it went on. Redid the drums numerous times, re-sang the vocals numerous times, pushed it up a few keys because I wasn't liking, like it didn't sound intense enough in my voice and sort of sang it differently. Um, and then, yeah, once Lancey's part was in there, it really all came together. That honestly made the whole song uh, for me. Uh, and usually artists do something that's like more of a verse, but since he kind of echoed what I was doing in the chorus, that allowed me to put him in a different place in the song than I normally would, which is nice because I don't like to get too predictable about that stuff. And then for the video, he and I were going to shoot something in LA and then at the last minute he had to go back to London and I was just like trying to get the song out. So we came up with this crazy plan to shoot his part of the video in London and my part in LA, which I've never done with an artist before, but we found a director in London who had worked with him and who was cool with him and gave them a concept and they got the set together and shot all those pieces of him in that room. And then we shot a whole different video in LA that shows me going through a party where I'm kind of like losing it and walking into these different rooms that are like increasingly trippy and weird and seeing the shit. We, at one point there's like a string quartet playing you know, the music with, like, Duck Hunter masks on that my friend, or headgear kind of, Duck Hunter hoods, basically, that my friend Conrad made. And then another one of the rooms I go in has, like, a child version of myself in it. I think that'd be the most horrifying thing you could possibly see if you were at a party, was just, like, walking into a room and just being like, oh, my God, you know? Especially because it's, like, if you're, like, fucked up on a bunch of different stuff, and then it's just, like, being reminded of the innocence that you came from or whatever, which is, like, I think part of the, you know, what the album's about. And then one of the rooms is just like Lancey just doing his thing in this room that we kind of designed to look like the ending of 2001 A Space Odyssey, which is just this like very white kind of room with like lighting that sort of emanates from the walls and floor almost. And we had to like shoot it so that the lighting coming back on my face in that room is, you know, matches the lighting on him in the, when he's in it, you know. Uh, and just stuff like that. So that was a cool process though. And I really enjoyed shooting the video. I mean, we got all these people dressed up in this cool, uh, fits and with like their crazy, you know, makeup. And I just love that it. it just has this like very trippy kind of like euphoria vibe. And yeah, overall, I'm like really happy with how this video came out. Lancey killed it in the video, in the song. You should check it out. It's called I'm a Mess featuring Lancey Foe. It's out right now everywhere.